Another person in Haiti vaccinated. This time it's Dr. Carl Dumas. Uh, How does it feel to get fully vaccinated? Great, great. But he's in the vast minority. Firstly, because vaccines took so long to get here. Haiti's campaign only began in July. And now, because even though they've finally arrived, few seem to want them. The US supplied half a million jabs under the COVAX mechanism. Only 20 odd thousand have been applied. Why? In part, it's because of this, the empty COVID ward that Dr. Karin shows us in the non-for-profit Geskio Hospital. I suppose at one point you would have thought that this would be full of people. No? Yes, full of people. it was full. Last year it was full. Now it is very calm. We don't have any admission. Haiti's health ministry says only around 600 people have died of COVID-19. The infection rate is also far lower than in many other places. Nobody knows exactly why, but since the pandemic isn't taking off, neither is the vaccination campaign. For them, it's not a disease that really um, is uh, present in Haiti. And if it's not present, there is no need for them to get vaccinated. In this market, the streets were full, the faces bare. Many don't believe in COVID or mistrust the vaccines. I don't wear a mask because I believe in God. I don't believe in what people say. The human being lies all the time. They never speak the truth. That's why I only believe God. We talked to Duvanyu because he was one of only a handful of people we saw covering up. I believe in science, so I believe in my mask, he told us. The limited public health campaign, another reason vaccination has stalled, would have done little to convince others. This is one of the few posters to do with COVID that we've been able to find here in the capital, Port-au-Prince. And what medical experts say to us is that a golden window of opportunity could be being missed because people now could be being vaccinated before more deadly strains of COVID possibly take hold here in the country. The government has other things on its mind not least a recently assassinated president, followed up by a major earthquake in the country's southwest. The latter could yet turn into a super spreader, with hospitals full and a multitude of foreign organisations flying in to help. Or Covid may, for whatever reason, continue to swerve around this Caribbean nation. If so, it would be the first piece of good fortune Haiti's had in a long time. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince.